Wait a minute now. What's going on? I use everything I got on this tournament. You lost our superstar to another coach. What's that smell? Is that a grudge? This is a perfect opportunity for dads to meet Uncle Drew, the greatest black top player I've ever seen in my life. Oh my nuts. Uncle Drew is like, he has all this knowledge. He's not trying to just shout from the mountaintop or, or beat his chest, but if you challenge him, he's a winner. He's gonna get out there and give you his all, and he makes people around him better. And when I think of Kyrie, the basketball player, I think he's amazing, and he does exactly that. He makes players around him better. He's obviously an amazing scorer and talent, um, but it's all about team, and I appreciated that from him. Come on, Drew, you told me these dudes can play. And this dude, he's a karate man. Hey, uh, he's meditating right now. This guy right here can't even see. Swish. There's characters that you can really identify with where you like, it reminds you of someone. And, and hopefully the community will rally around it and just feel like you had a moment. I mean, there's so many real situations that we're dealing with right now in life that sometimes a comedy is just, people get a moment to just laugh and have a good time. And we're hoping that this is what this film does for them. How's that geriatric team of yours? You get them all individual life alert bracelets? You still don't believe, do you? I got each of you a little something. Rugger Park has really created an, a name of its own and a legacy of its own. And, you know, you really haven't played ball if you haven't had a chance to go to New York and play in Rugger Park. So we gonna ball? We gonna ball. This is where it happens. Let's do this. I've been acting since I was in high school, um, whether I was in plays or doing um, small skits and things like that. I've been in a few cameos, but usually I'm playing myself, Lisa Leslie, the basketball player. And I thought, wow, what an amazing opportunity to be able to play a character that's not me somewhat. <laughs> you know, to play an 80-year-old woman, um, I thought that would be an amazing challenge. and. Um, and then there was basketball involved, so I thought that was kind of, you know, that's a no-brainer. I could obviously do that, but um, just the challenge of being someone else. So having the opportunity to be Betty Lou, for me, um, I thought it was wonderful. Time out! Who are you? I'm here to make sure that he's tall enough to ride the ride that my man about to put him on. Hey.